10 best things about Finland. And if you're planning to visit Finland someday, then these are 10 things you're going to enjoy. But the word happy is what many people do not um, want to relate with Finland. That they should have maybe removed the word happy and, and just look for another uh, word instead of happy because you can't just see you feel like oh happy you know but they want their award and these are things that they actually considered during their award hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i want to share with you guys 10 things that you're going to enjoy about Finland. If it's something you're interested in, click on the like button, subscribe, and let's, it has been new. <laughs> and let's get right into the video. Number one, the nature here is lovely. Lots of nature and lots of lake. You're going to enjoy it. If you're a nature lover like me, you love to um, spend time in the forest and lakes and all that, enjoying and spending time in the forest, then um, you're going to love that a lot about Finland because um, the nature here is quite rich and also lots of lake. And um, I'm coming from a culture where we don't have lots of um, forests and trees. We have lots of houses. So if you're coming from a place that is quite busy and then you sometimes just want to get into the forest but it's not something you really enjoy because it's still not um so rich forest you can see here the um the city noise and all that i mean it's not so um silent you know, enjoy you know that feeling of enjoying the nature and it's silent you know so most of us don't really have it where we're coming from when where you're coming from so if you're a nature lover this is what you enjoy in finland because the nature here is really rich and then you enjoy the silence a lot number two and this is one of my favorites is the quality um, of the local brands now um like for where i'm coming from uh we have local brands and then we have international brands now most people always want to patronize international brands you see them buy international stuff and then the local stuff we don't really um buy people don't buy so much and the com the excuse or the complaint that they have is that the quality is not um so good now that's the other way around in finland here in finland the local brands are actually quite expensive because they are so good they have um uh, so good designs and they have so good quality so um you see most people actually patronizing and buying from local brands i keep talking a lot in my videos about the local foods um uh, vegetables like carrots you know like um if you want to buy carrot and zucchini and all that and, and um 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 cucumber i always say buy the ones made in finland because they taste so much better that's just an example of what i mean so the local brands are always better the local food is always better and then the the goods that are made here maybe like the um the clothes and and other stuff people actually prefer it more because they are so better the quality is better but then it can be expensive and this leads me to the third one patriotism now the things are quite patriotic like they love their country i keep saying it in my videos this is the truth they love their country and then they love things that are made here so i find that to be a really good um quality and uh, something to treasure because um it's very common for you to be in countries or uh, uh come across people who don't actually have so much um um love or respect for their own country i mean when they speak and when they do things you can see that okay they don't respect their country their identity their culture so the Finns actually respect their um, cultural identity and their history and um how they got here how they fought to be who they are what they fought to get the country today so people are quite um patriotic so patriotism is a big thing yes yeah? so it's one of the best things in my opinion about Finland. i like the way that they love their country and number four is a safe country now um you know finland it won the award of the happiest country in the world right <laughs> so many people do not um agree some agree some don't agree there were some criteria that were um considered during uh, the ranking and um some of them are like maybe like that life expectancy or um safety the system and then um corruption and all that and all these things actually Finland rank um, high it's actually true so these are the things that compiled and then they became the happiest country in the world so looking at that um our ranking is not a lie but the word happy is what many people do not um want to relate with finland because they feel like the things are not so um out to express their emotions you can't just see you feel like oh happy you know because people think happy is <laughs> so um when you think of finland you won't think oh yes happy you know but they won the award and these are the uh, things that they actually um considered during the award the, those that made the award and then that's why finland won and the um the the the, the criteria actually it matches to finland this that top they ranked up all these things are like 
top notch. They are true. So it's a very safe country. It's a country where you're not going to worry about your life or worry for yourself that um, you're working and then somebody's going to like um, uh, attack you and all that. Of course, it depends on the city you're living in. Bigger cities, bigger problems, and of course the um, uh, the time. If you're working in the night, you open yourself to risk. Okay, but it's not something that you easily or generally see here. So um, life is safe here, and your life expectancy is quite long. Now um, there are countries where there are lots of people, and then things happen all the time. Accidents happen. Like honestly, guys, I've been here six years. I've seen a road accident only once and it's just just a car that just scratched the bike a little bit and then the man on the bike the old man fell i mean and then the police came and everybody was like oh you know that's where i live of course it depends on where you live but the um the life expectancy is long it's one of those countries where you 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 things don't just happen to you by chance and then you just die like that you know so that's why it's a safe country and also it's safe for uh children it's so safe like honestly this is one of the safest countries for children so yeah that is important number five is this is one of my favorites is the clean air guys the air is so clean now um if you're coming from a place where there are lots of people lots of uh, industrial activities happening and then um you're breathing in um, i mean pollution in the air and all that and then you're breathing in gas and all those fumes and all that you appreciate the clean air it fills you up and then immediately you feel good you know so i love that that the air is clean you know the thing is you don't you may not actually notice certain things if you're not if you have not experienced the other side of it you you may be living here all your life you may be living in finland all your life and you will not appreciate how clean the air is until you visit a country where the air is not so clean that there's lots of industrial stuff going on and companies and stuff like that and you will see the difference so um talking from my own perspective one of the best things about finland for me is the air the air is clean guys so clean and i love that now sis number six is my top on the list you want to guess what it is sauna <laughs> the best thing, actually is the best thing ever invented I always say that the person that invented sauna is a genius so i love the sauna and that is one of the things you're going to enjoy if you're planning to uh, visit finland someday make sure you have sauna like it's the best thing so um sauna is um quite um refreshing i talk about it in my videos you should watch them <laughs> so just watch i have lots of videos on talking about sauna experience and all that so sauna is quite refreshing and then it's gonna uh, be something you should experience at first you may not want to because it's quite hot and um it's, it can be scary and then you couldn't you may not breathe like for me the first time i i couldn't breathe i'm like i can't breathe you know and stuff like that but eventually i got used to it and just make sure you stay around 80 degrees <laughs> not more it's depending on you and then um just um you can take breaks go out take a shower come back in and all that the sauna is a place where you can actually treat if you're a lady you can treat your skin get a glowing skin to make sure that you just scrub and um apply some oil onto your hair and then treat your hair i mean it is there are multiple use for uses for the sauna so please make sure you enjoy it it's one of the things you're going to enjoy it's one of the best things about finland number seven is corruption free now, this was one of the criteria for the Happy Country Fair Award that they won. The country has almost zero, almost zero, yeah. I've not experienced any corruption. Well, though, recently, guys, things are already happening. But um, it's a corrupt, uh, corruption-free country. Although, recently, to stop some things were happening during these corona times, and then some things happened. If you live here, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to air the dirty line and uh, the dirty line and out there on YouTube. But if you live here, you know what I'm talking about. Although, and if you read the news, maybe you must have read that news, you know. So some things happened with the money stuff and stuff like that, and the way things were done in politics and government, people didn't like. But um, some people suspected that it was corruption and all that. But everything went over, so we are past that. <laughs> so, but um, other than that, it's a corruption-free country, and it's hardly something that you experience here. And bribery, bribery, oh guys, is very important. No bribery, no corruption. If you're used to giving people money to get your way, you can't do that here because it's going to be strange. And the person you're trying to bribe 
will not even accept it from you, you know. So yeah, it's very important to know that. So that's one of the best things. If you are against such things, you're going to enjoy that here in Finland because you won't find that here. Number eight, this is one of the um, things that I'm going to enjoy. You know, I, I didn't have it coming from a very busy country. I didn't have it, but now I love it. Personal space here, people give you lots of space. People and um, respect your privacy. And uh, I'm coming from a place where uh, people are a lot in your face, and then no, I mean, people touch you all the time. Busy country, lots of people. But here, you get a lot of personal space and privacy. At first, it may be strange to you, and you may feel lonely if you're coming from a country where you're surrounded with people and everybody's all on you. You won't get that here so you may feel lonely and um and you may not like it but eventually you may start enjoying it like for me i love it now i just love that space i just i just love that privacy so you will see people badging on you but if you are going to miss that then you better make friends with people from your own country there are lots of people here in finland so you will find people who actually love that so you guys can visit each other without knocking <laughs> but if you don't like that then you're going to enjoy personal space and privacy here in finland it's one of the best things about finland number nine good local food this is one of my favorites i love food guys i do have some videos where i am trying finished food and also i was um i, I have a recent video where i tried that finished christmas snacks and all that up there go check it out really good local food good snacks lots of variety you are going to experience lots of food um variety that you are not used to at all at first you may be skeptical to try them because they may look different from what you're used to but if you just open up your heart open up your mind you're going to enjoy those local food they are really good there's a popular finnish snack that people love here it's not christmas snack or anything but it's like a, a, a popular one and people love it and I've been trying to learn how to make it, so I'm going to make that video sometime soon. I'm going to make a video of me trying to make it. I can't wait to see how it goes. So yeah, expect that video someday. And the tenth one, one of the best things you're going to enjoy about Finland is that it's a happy country to live in. <laughs> Please, if you're a foreigner here, do not come for me. I left this for last because of the controversy surrounding it, and I mentioned it earlier. <laughs> so um, it depends on the perspective you're looking at this from. Look at all these things that I mentioned. All these nine things either these, these are things that you are enjoying you're going to enjoy that then it's a happy place right but then it depends on how you're looking at it like i tried to explain this is a controversy area in that people say that finland is not the happiest country in the world and then for others it is the happiest country in the world and i'm asking you what do you think about that rank and i know this is a little bit old because i've been planning to talk about that for a while and i just want to use this opportunity to mention it so how about you what do you think do you think that finland is really the happiest country in the world or do you think that they should have maybe removed the word happy and and just look for another uh word instead of happy because that is a happy that's a word that many people do not um, agree with so what where do you stand what is your opinion on that i've not talked about that on my channel so now it's an opportunity to hear what you guys think about that award all right guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumb up if you're new on my channel subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs> okay